Hi, my name is Marilyn Marks. I'm on the right whale research team at the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life at New England Aquarium. I'm standing here on Nauset Beach on beautiful Cape Cod. And right out there, passing near these shores, are some of the rarest animals on the planet. I'm talking about the North Atlantic right whale, one of the most endangered large whale species in the world. There are only about 400 individuals in the population and they spend the majority of their lives within 50 miles of the east coast of U.S. and Canada. At this time of year, late winter into spring, some right whales come very close to the beaches. We have the rare and wonderful opportunity to see right whales right from our shores. Right whale mothers and calves are also coming up the coast right now from the calving ground off Florida and Georgia. That's a 1,400 mile journey, and most of it is with just within a few miles of the coast. And right whales can often be seen very close to the beaches at Race Point, which is the northernmost point of the Cape. But they can be seen in other places as well, off Duxbury, the Haunt, Swampska. Right whales come to Massachusetts waters to feed on the rich zooplankton resource they find here. It's kind of amazing to think of these enormous whales, 45 feet long, up to 70 tons, feeding on microscopic animals called copepods. But right whales need to find very dense patches of copepods in order to make a living. And that's what they find in these waters. Right whales are filter feeders. And when they find one of those dense patches of zooplankton, they move through it sort of like a lawnmower, going back and forth. If they're doing that at the surface, that's called skim feeding. And that's what we see a lot in waters around here. If you were standing on a beach and you saw a skim feeding whale in the distance, it might look just like a big black box. So skim feeding is certainly one of the most commonly observed right whale behaviors in the waters around Massachusetts. But it's not the only one. You have a chance of seeing a surface active group. That's when two or more right whales are rolling around at the surface, creating a lot of white water. You might catch a glimpse of a paddle-shaped flipper or a white belly as they roll over. Right whales occasionally breach and that's when they come completely out of the water. And they often lift their tails when they go for a deep dive. So if you see a uh, all black tail, very smooth edged, that could be a right whale. So how can you tell a right whale apart from other whale species in this area? Right whales have a few features that are very different from other whales. First, they don't have a dorsal fin. Their back is broad and flat. Second, and the thing that might be most obvious from a distance, is that they have light-colored patches on their heads. These are called callosities, and it's what we use to identify individuals. Right whales also have a very distinctive V-shaped blow. This is most obvious if the whale is heading away from you or directly towards you. So if you have an open beach nearby, grab a pair of binoculars, keep a safe social distance, and look for whales. If you see one, you can report it through whalealert.org. And whether you see one or not, remember that some of the rarest animals on the planet are right in our own backyard. I'm gonna look right now.